All right, so today I'm gonna be installing the Raptor grill and wiring the lights on my 07 F-150. Got the grill here. It's got the three pigtails in the back. Comes with the wire connector. Let me get this hood popped and maybe a light set up. Hey, okay, got the hood popped. The kit. It came with uh, two new brackets, some new hardware. So I'm gonna take start by taking those 10 millimeter bolts out that are holding the current grill on. There. Right, yes, yeah, so I get these six 10 millimeter studs on the back holding the current grill to the actual hood. Okay, got the six washer nuts off. Got the current grill off. Let's see what we need to do to mount the new one. To putting the hardware, the brackets, and all that on the new one. All right, so we got the hardware out. These little screws, you know, put them in to hold the current bracket on. Or I'm sorry, not the current bracket, the new bracket to the new grill that came with it. Put your screws all in those holes. Okay, I got the brackets installed. I don't have the screws cranked down yet, just in case I had to make any adjustments to fill in any gaps. But one little tip, on this side I started here and went up and got the bolts in. And over here, I started at the top. Put this one in first. And that made everything a lot easier. So, start at this, this screw here first and work your way down. Alright, now we're going to work on getting the studs installed that hold it to the actual hood. I go here. So I'll get those installed and come back. Okay, so the studs were pretty easy. They just pop in there. There's a little resistance in to hold it. But they were fairly easy to get in there. Got everything on there now. Now we're going to go ahead and install it on the hood. Get it placed and then we'll work on the wiring. Alright, I got the studs installed onto the hood. Went ahead and just used the factory bolts because they felt a little better quality than the ones that came with this grill. Got these just tightened in there. Or I'm sorry, just started in the holes. One thing I did notice is the edge of the hood here, right where that connector goes in, that may cause an issue down the road with the lights. So I may see what I can do with that. Maybe tape it up and get a loom on it. I'm going to go ahead and get everything tightened down and start with that wiring. Alright, I got the studs all tightened up along the top of the hood. I just use this 10 millimeter on a universal joint and this electric ratchet. Made it pretty easy. Space is kind of limited up there so that universal joint helped. Now I'm gonna get these let's get these here torqued in. Alright, I got everything tightened down. Looks pretty good. It's not all the way shut, that's why that gaps are I'll show you what it looks like once I get it wired up and everything. Pop this hood. Look at this wiring. I'm hoping the three pigtail wire that it coming with is long enough to string along down here and through here because I'm planning on tapping into that headlight the current headlight wire but let's see how it goes all right I just got the connectors plugged in seeing how much wire I got to play with and they come with a pretty pretty long connector at least six foot or so 
So I think I will be able to wire it up and down. And I'm just gonna try to hide it the best I can. I got some uh, poly loom. I may put some loom on there. Now that has some three eighths poly loom laying around from a previous job. Got it at Harbor Freight for like two bucks. Just to make it a little look a little more factory. Maybe help with heat resistance. And I went ahead and took my headlight out. I have to figure out my tires and grounds. And I'm thinking maybe better to tap into this to the parking light here. Which lights will still be on when the headlights on. This is the connector for that. So I'm gonna get my test light and figure out where my powers and grounds are. Assuming that black wire is the ground. Take a look. All right, so I'm just grounded out on that bolt here by the test light. I am plugged into that brown wire in the middle. I got my positive there. So getting the power through the brown wire. I'm going to go to take this into my test light to battery positive and check that black wire. Make sure that black wire is the ground. Alright, so I'm on battery positive over there. Probed into the black wire and you can see we got our negative and battery voltage there. So that's our ground. Brown is our power. The black is the ground. Oh. I think I'm gonna get, I got some T-tap connectors that I'm gonna use to just plug into this cable. Maybe back here somewhere. Maybe wait, make wiring it up a little bit easier. All right, I'm gonna take these T-tap connectors here. I'm gonna use the red 1822 gauge. Nice, nice. And obviously, the reds are power going to the lights, and that's going to come from our brown wire on the connector here. I've got cut an open spot here <clears throat> to take this, clip it in that groove there. See if I can do this with my crimpers. This other piece and oh, it's is it right here. I'm sure there's not a non insulated Put that in there, pump that in. I'm sure it's. Good and tight, got a good crimp on it. Now we'll be back to it. I don't want to puncture a hole into that. All right. Take, plug that in there. Boom. Alright, there's our power. Oh, let's clean up the side of the ground. Get 
the same thing going. And these red ones. I don't like this crimp tool. That other end. Get into this negative. Line right into that groove there. Let me get a pair of knip eggs. Alright, I just went ahead and got this pair of knip eggs and was able to clamp it in. Heard the click. So we got the negative side in. So let's go ahead and plug that in and test these lights out. Let's see. Got it all tapped in. So we can close the hood. Be right back. All right, got them all wired in. Set the lighting look pretty good. I'll show you the connectors again. Just said to tap in with some T-tap connectors into the parking light. I'm gonna finish running the running the cabling and I'll come back and show you the finished product. Alright I got all the wiring done and run so it would connect it into the light down there zipped out of here on the overflow line hit it here again then I had an existing hole right here and I used one of those Christmas tree type fasteners that zipped high and another one here uh, and through the hood mount zip tied the, all the connectors together up there yeah, I think it looks pretty good I think it should hold up um, turn the lights on There it is. Now you install a Raptor grill on a 07 F-150. Well, how I installed it. I think it should be the same from 04 to 08, I believe. 